Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome to Film Insight. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some more contestants featured on MasterChef Junior and reveal how they're doing right now. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content, guys. Dara Yu Regardless of the fact that she didn't win, Dara Yu is regarded as one of the most popular contestants on MasterChef Junior. Appearing in the very first season of the show, she was only 12 years old when she first competed. For the pilot episode, she was a part of the second group, who was tasked with making pasta from scratch. Even though this was something many adults would find difficult, Yu breezed through it with ease. Thanks to her talent, she defeated 12 other contestants and moved on to the second stage. In the third episode, she was paired with Sarah Lane for the team challenge and was challenged to make a beef wellington using Gordon Ramsay's recipe. Despite the fact that a beef wellington is really hard to prepare, their dish was deemed perfect by the judges, which won them the challenge. At this point, all eyes were on you, since many believed that she was going to win it all. In the elimination challenge in the fourth episode, the kids were asked to create a three-layer cake in just 90 minutes. The judges ultimately determined that Yu's cake reigned supreme, making her the winner yet again. For the subsequent episodes, Yu continued on her winning streak and secured a spot in the finals after making delicious lollipop chicken wings that impressed the judges. During the finals, she went head-to-head -head with Alexander Weiss, and the two were challenged to make a three-course meal in under 90 minutes. As an appetizer, Yu made some ahi tuna, and as her main course, she made fried spot prawns with scallop shrimp wontons sided with some Thai coconut curry sauce. Finally, for dessert, she served poached pears in lemon ginger miso sauce, which looked simply divine. While her dishes were superb, without a doubt, she sadly didn't win the season and lost to Weiss, who was crowned as the first winner of MasterChef Junior. But just because she didn't win, it doesn't exactly mean that she's a failure. Since competing on MasterChef Junior, Yu has taken her love of cooking to the next level and has gotten the chance to work with some of the biggest chefs in the game, such as Dominique Ansel. What's more, she attended the Culinary Institute of America and has since become a food content creator. She mostly posts on her YouTube channel, which is called Dara Yu, but it hasn't been active in over five years. Regardless of the fact that she's only 16, she's already racked up a lot of cooking experience and is doing well for herself. Sarah Lane Sarah Lane is best known for yelling the line, whip it like a man, in the first season of the show, which is admittedly hilarious. At the time, she was only nine years old and got most of her cooking experience from helping out at her grandmother's restaurant. She revealed in a 2021 interview that she already had a rough idea of what the show would entail because she already had some experience working in a commercial kitchen. Even with her experience, she was still overlooked by many of the contestants since she was so short and tiny. Despite the fact that Lane was competing in a brutal competition, she still tried to have some degree of fun, like when she was tasked with pouring bowls of whipped cream onto the judges' heads. It seemed like she was having a blast. She told Kaylin to aim for the face, referring to Gordon Ramsay's face. How funny! In the same third episode, she was paired with Dara Yu for the team challenge to recreate Gordon's Beef Wellington. As mentioned, they made the best Beef Wellington and were declared the winners of the challenge. She also won the Mystery Box Challenge in the fourth episode, but her team's challenge in episode 5 failed to impress the judges, and she was sadly eliminated. Since leaving MasterChef Junior, Lane has finished high school and has also strengthened her culinary skills through some professional training. While she mainly continues to help out at her grandmother's restaurant, she made a surprise appearance on the show LA Cookie Con and Sweets in 2017. Sophia Hublitz you probably know Sophia Hublitz from her role as Charlotte Bird, who is one of the main characters in the hit television series Ozark. But before she became an actress, she was a contestant on MasterChef Junior. In fact, MasterChef Junior was her first big break on TV and is what ignited her love for acting. Hublitz was a contestant on the first season of MasterChef Junior when she was only 12 years old. In the first episode, she made a seafood dish that guaranteed her a spot in the top 12. Even though she was quite talented and tried her very best, she was booted from the competition after her three-layer cake failed to impress the judges. 
Even though Hublitz didn't progress very far into the competition, she's gone on to become one of the most popular contestants on the show. Even though she's quite a talented cook, she decided to stop pursuing the culinary arts. Instead, she's been putting most of her energy into her acting career. She's had roles in movies and shows like Louis, Horace and Pete, Ida Red, Master and more recently Ozark. Ivy Angst Ivy Angst was a contestant who debuted in the seventh season of the show, ranking in second place. While Angst was a front-runner throughout the entire season, she unfortunately didn't claim the MasterChef Junior title and became a fan favorite in the process. Even though she had immunity from elimination thanks to winning certain challenges, she still put on quite a show. In episode 5, she secured a win during the team challenge, since her team produced more trifles than the opposing one. In episode 10, she impressively led the blue team and was tasked with cooking meals for the female guests of the MasterChef Junior restaurant. For the subsequent team challenge, she and Reed Briggs secured a win after making a plateau of six tapas. It's safe to say that she's an impressive girl. Angst eventually made it to the finals and was tasked with making a three-course meal in under an hour and a half. For her appetizer, she chose to make pan-seared red snapper, tropical salsa, avocado crema, and tostones, which looked absolutely delicious. For the entree, she went with glazed hanger steak, butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, and herb puree. Finally, for dessert, she made butterscotch pots de creme with caramel sauce, pine nut brittle, and whipped creme fraiche, which was heavenly. Whilst all of her dishes were top tier, she didn't end up winning the show, coming second to Chase Biotta. Regardless of her loss, Angst has been doing quite well for herself. She creates food-related content and has more than 10,000 followers on Instagram alone. She often advocates for restaurants to offer healthier options on their children's menu, which is lovely. What's more, she has continued to refine her skills as a chef and is far better than when she was on the show. Andrew Zapley when Andrew Zapley competed in the third season of MasterChef Junior, he was just an 11-year-old kid from New Jersey who had a crush on Matilda Ramsey, Gordon Ramsay's daughter. Despite his young age, he ended up coming in second place. How amazing! From the very first episode, Zapley stood out as an experienced chef and was probably one of the best in the show's history. Like how easily he stole the win when being challenged with making some papa della pasta. However, in the second episode, he had a close brush with elimination after his sausage dish didn't impress the judges. Luckily, he was saved from elimination and moved on to the next episode. Zapley would go on to win several other challenges and managed to make it to the finals. There, he went up against Nathan Odom for the $100,000 prize. For the three-course meal challenge, Zapley made homemade herbed ricotta cheese with roasted beets and pumpernickel bread as an appetizer. For the entree, he went with a beef cheek ravioli and a sweet arborio rice risotto. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough to get him to first place, and Odom was the one who emerged victorious. Since his loss, Zapley has been winning in his own way. He continued on with his culinary education and has cooked in a list of fancy restaurants across the globe. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I really do hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this, and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys!